car. I fear for my life. No, no, it's okay. Look, we made it here safe. Surprisingly, God is good. Welcome back, guys. It's Bronson and Daytona. We're going to be starting week two of our series on self-control. We're so excited to get started. This week, we're going to focus on controlling our words. This means controlling what we say from our mouths, even what we say online. Learning to control our mouths can save us a lot of trouble in life because sometimes it's better to not say anything at all. God gave us a lot of tools to help us control our words. He is on our side and willing to help us learn. Let's go see our big point for today. Our big point today is, at the end of the day, I control what I say. Say it with me now. At the end of the day, I control what I say. Today's story is about a girl named Abigail. She was married to a man named Nabal, and Nabal was not very good at using self-control. Nabal means fool, and today's story is actually a, a really good example of what not to do. Abigail's husband, Nabal, was very rich and owned many sheep and many goats, and he was known by a lot of people for his wealth. Nabal was a very foolish person. He was very quick to speak and didn't think before he said things. Abigail and Nabal lived in Mon and traveled back and forth to Carmel for work. David and his men were camping in a wilderness nearby, guarding the people from the Philistines. The Philistines were people who would invade and steal things, like Goliath from the story David and Goliath. David heard that Nabal was nearby and thought maybe Nabal could spare some food for David and his men. So David sent some of his men over to ask Nabal for some food. They asked if they could feed them in exchange for his safety that they could provide. But Nabal got really upset by this and started yelling at them and he said, I have bread, water, and meat for my servants who work for me, but I will not give it to men I do not know. Nabal did not use self-control and did not control his words. He acted foolishly and got mad at David's men. David's men were shocked at how rude Nabal had been to them. When David's men told David about what Nabal said to them, David told the men to pack up and grab their swords. David was going to fight Nabal. But before David could get to Nabal, Abigail convinced David to think about his actions before doing anything. Nabal struggled with controlling his words, but for a moment, David struggled with controlling his actions too. Even though Nabal was rude and did not control his words towards David's men, David was given the choice to fight Nabal or control his actions. But we'll learn more about controlling our actions next week. Remember, we have control over our words. And if our words do not encourage or show love to others, we should take a minute to think about what we're saying. Today's memory verse is, words are either poison or fruit. Proverbs 18, 21. Hey guys, nice to see you again. Today's object lesson is something that you can play at home too. So we're gonna play a game and the rules are really simple. We're gonna ask each other questions and see who can go longer without saying the word what. We're gonna practice self-control and think about what we say so we can win the game. Okay, ready? Yep. The color of the sky is? Blue. How many toes do you have? 10. Are you a person? What? I won. You tricked me, though. That's not fair. Yes, I did. I thought we were just playing a game. I guess so. Sometimes we may feel like things are unfair, and we may forget to control our words and say the wrong things. But even if it's a mistake, we are responsible for those words we say, no matter how we feel. Let's review today's big point and memory verse. The big point is, at the end of the day, I control what I say. And the memory verse is found in Proverbs 18.21. Words are either poison or fruit. Pop question, what was Abigail's husband's name? Wow, we're already done week two of our series. Our series always seems to fly by. We hope you learn lots about using self-control with your words, and we will see you next week. We can't wait. Bye. Bye.